morning to you all my great CEOs. I come your way today being Monday and by the special grace of God today is what March 2024 I will say good morning to my dear country Nigeria good morning to the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria President Paula Ahmed Tinubu and I greet our able leaders, leaders of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I greet all who are working hard to put smiles on the faces of all Nigerians, the management of UAAG, the All Grand Pressure Group, all CEOs, and I want to, one after the other, greet all the state CEOs under this uh, leadership. I want to say this to everybody and to those who felt they have sense to distract the attention of others. Now, this is the voice of Comrade Pascal Anyang. If you must know, we have been hearing the voice of so many making a whole lot of noise, disturbing and distracting the attentions of all CEOs and all subscribers of the grant in Nigeria. And till today, the noise you are making has made no sense at all and nobody will tell you is happy with your characters so many of you are answering big names and the names you are answering ends in your room and inside that phone you are using to distract the attention of Nigerians I am coming again to warn everybody who felt he has sense who felt is wise and wiser than his or herself those who talk even when they are asked not to talk even when they are supposed not to talk well we hear from the CEOs in Nigeria we have been existing, no? we have never told you we are in any way for the grants, no. CEOs has been existing on our own. We are not existing, we are somebody we come and direct us telling me what to do and what not to do regarding to people I have called to work, regarding to people I have appointed as my committee, you have no single rights. The grant you have been handling, I don't know how far till today, it has yielded no single fruit. But because I know that being the CEOs operating on our own differently, and coming to see that so many of us are part of all the grants in Nigeria as partners, we decided to come out and make impact that will yield wonderful fruits, which as every Dick and Harry can hear, 
is already yielding fruit. You don't stay inside your bedroom. When anybody talk, you come out, you shout, you make noise. When you hear anybody's voice, that is when you wake up to talk. You all who are making all this noise, we know you all. You say you are the voice of a uh, river state. It is your business. It's none of my business. I don't know, I want to know who you are, his or her voice. We have no business with you. And if he call us to have business with you, then we shall be having business with you. Stay clear from us. We are not begging you to be part of CEOs. It's not mandatory. It is not by force. Learn how to address yourself and stop challenging anybody who does anything. Challenge yourself because you have been there according to you. Respect yourself. The only voice of River State I know today is Comrade Sylvester Manila Pepo. If there's another voice in River State, I don't know. So stay clear. And I want to call on all CEOs in all the 36 states. Listen to me now. Stand ready. Stand ready. And the these people making this noise and distracting us. Please monitor them all. Maybe they felt we are only just talking. If they felt we are only sending voice notes. If they know how prepared we are, I don't think they will be making noise. Because this time around, it's no longer the time you think you just talk and go get away free. No. We shall be sending our security to you direct. And let me tell you, you can never hide. Better stay clear and keep quiet. And again, every CEO should listen. Anybody again that comes out and they call anybody names, Please, once you hear the voice note, trust who that person is. Your own is to get us who that person is and where the person stays. Finish. That's all, you, that's all we need. You can be calling people names just because you find yourself in a grant community. Everybody becomes your age mate. Everybody becomes fool before you. You abuse. You insult. You cause, you do this, you do that, as if you talking is better than anybody. You are not better. If you cannot work for the good of the masses, shut your mouth up and stay where you are quiet. You must not talk at, 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 at when you listen to any, any voice note. You cannot just talk. You cannot just wake up. And you begin to abuse, render abuse on people, cause people and the, all the rest. No, you don't do that. But I think we should be calling it a stop now. We, we we don't make that kind of noise you guys have been making. We don't. We are full of actions. And you will see it and you believe. The committee, I said, you stand strong. You stand and nobody can dismount on you. Your names I have mentioned. The only thing I shall be doing is to add more people to you. I give the committee just a very short time, less than one week, to come out with results. The grand community must be sanitized. I don't know and I don't want to know. All we know is that we must get our money. And as I speak, a whole lot of good results are coming up. And let me tell you this. Everybody should note that we are and must do this press conference. If those in charge did not do something meaningful this week. 
this week is the last week we must wait and then we shall be coming out if we must allow peace to reign then let this money enter the account of all ceos if we must allow peace to reign let this money enter the account of the ceos and the by the grace of God, this week, we are not after your noise makings. And now we have been on investigations. And the authorities we are working with are highly beside us. So that you don't think you can be making that noise you are making over there. And you just make it and go free. Let me advise all my admins in all the 36 states. Please, CEO's platform are not for anybody to be posting whatever they want to post. Please, any post that is not coming from us, delete it immediately. Any post that is not coming from us, delete it immediately. Please, I will not repeat it again. If you want to make your noise, go to the platforms you have been making your noise and make it. Don't come to the CEO's platform. Again, don't come to CEO's platform and make that your noise and send that your rubbish you have been sending. Don't send it here. Don't send it here or we shall delete you completely. All my admins, take notes. And like I said, our money is what we want. Our money is what we want, and we want it now, not tomorrow. Respect all people who are working. Respect Apostle Ken Wakama. Respect the All Grand Pleasure Group of Nigeria. Respect all who are working to see that this money drops. We are not in any way accusing anybody for now. But we shall be accusing you when it delays more than now. Yes. Listen and listen again. We, the CEOs, are standing on our own. We are not in any way defending anybody or accusing anybody for now. But we shall be accusing who we shall be accusing when the time comes. And the, the time is coming now. The time is coming now, not tomorrow. I plead to everybody to listen and know that we are not biased like those who claim they are fighting for us for a long time, that we are seeing nothing. It is not now again, and it cannot be now. So get yourself ready. All my state CEOs, everybody, under the sound of my voice get ready and be ready for war if they want war we shall give them war no more waiting no more delay those who know the need for the need to do should go and do it immediately because by the time we come out we will know that it's no longer something of joke we are no more playing and we are no more ready to listening to stories again those stories we have listened to will be things of the past will be things of the past i tell you this and i want you to know that all ceos in nigeria under my leadership will never compromise what we are doing and we will never be biased we will never be biased today is fourth March 2024 and I'm coming this early hour of today being Monday to draw the ears of all who are concerned to draw the ears of all who have frustrated the life of the masses to draw the ears of those who felt you can just frustrate us and go scot-free to warn again seriously those who have been making all this delay 
those who are there because you felt you can talk. You talk every day. You scatter the peace of the masses. In as much as some CEOs has died at the cost of this, you will not find it funny. It will not be easy. But I want all CEOs to know that now we are out. Now we are ready to now point hand there directly. It will not be easy, it will not be funny to anybody or for anybody. Do the needful now. If there is any thing causing problem, there are people there to put it right. There are people there to make it well. Even under 30 minutes, that peace can come back. That peace can reign so that disbursement will take place. This is what we are saying. And this is what we are talking about. And uh, I want LCEOs to ignore any noise, any distraction calling you for protest or calling you for this. We are not uh, noisemakers. We don't agitate baselessly. We come out and uh, when we talk, we met every bit of our words, every bit of the things we say, we meant it. And uh, you think it is those who have been ranting and making the hell of noise here and there. Don't worry. You shall see it and you will believe. You shall see it and you will believe. I drop this message now. Today is fought. And I want everything causing this problem to be settled. I want it to be settled and I want this disbursement to take place immediately. I don't want to know where the problem is coming from now. All I know is there is issue that is making it delay. That issue is what I want to be settled immediately. Let that issue be settled immediately. Because my committee for World Press Conference will never go back. We are coming out. And the day we shall be on air to about 10 or 15 media houses and the even newspapers and even radios that day it will be hot and the hot and the hot to anybody who is concerned we are making our researches we are digging deep and by the grace of god we shall come out and let you know how it goes the committees I have said already, do not be afraid of anyone making noise from anywhere. You already know that this is their system. This is their lifestyle. This is their tradition. Any day they hear something, they come out and make their noise. Listen and know, we are not those kind of noise makers. We don't make noise. We are full of action. And our actions are making impact, great impact not talking anyhow and uh, saying things anyhow. Just wake up, you speak grammar. We don't do that. Everywhere should be calm. Just watch our actions and see result coming out. This week must be our week or something else will happen. I said this week must be our week or something else happen. So those concerns should take note. And my CEOs, I said it again, monitor those noisemakers, monitor them, because I know we are in the 36 states of this country. Monitor them, monitor their voice notes, trace them, get us their numbers, their contacts that we shall be handing over to the authority for further actions. We need peace completely. Let us get this money and get away. So anybody making noise from anywhere again, you may not find it easy or funny from we the CEOs. You will not. 
you're not making is distracting us. Allow the all grand pressure group. Allow Apostle to Ken Wakama. Allow the management to work and give us results. Allow them to work and give us results. And that is final. And we want that result this week. We want that result this week because we shall be coming out. And our coming out will not be funny. My heart bleeds. My heart bleeds when I see the kind of suffering we the CEOs are passing through now. The kind of pain we are passing through now. The kind of humiliations those who are supposed to be great are passing through. The kind of insult we who are supposed to be great are passing through. Look at how everybody has been reduced to nothing. Haba, in the name of what? In the name of pursuing success. In the name of wanting to be blessed financially. But let me tell you, that blessing must come to us. Whether devil likes it or not, we must receive our money. Relax your minds and don't join these noisemakers. You want to go for protest? Do anybody hold you? Go, go to the street and do your protest. Where are we holding you? Go. Go and make your protest. Go. All the noise I've been making since. You will be telling us the result of any, any one of them. Have you heard us see us come out before? But this time we decide to start coming out. Hmm. It's not going to be easy. For whoever that thinks is wise and think is clever to have kept us on ground for this many years. It will not be easy for you. And let me tell you all, those who have been grand handlers, we talk, somebody is telling me it's a voice of this, it's a voice of that. Have you ever heard that we are grand handlers? We are not. We are only subscribers. We are only partners. They are coming up to tell us blue grammar that we don't even understand to us. Respect yourselves. All we want is our money. And we, the CEOs, are coming after them all, one after the other, who have collected our money in the past. All of them who claims to be grand handlers. You, we are coming after you. After now, we are coming after you. And your name shall be mentioned on air, one after the other. And the address of where you are staying and the rest of them. You will hear them. So don't ever think we are joking. We are out to joke with you or with anybody. No. But for now, all CEOs, calm down and watch our actions. This week, this week, we have dropped to be the week of our disbursement. Failure to be this week then see us in action. Committee, get ready. Do your works. Do your works, committee. Do your works. We are here working on our own part. God will continue to bless you all. And God will continue to see us all true. Do have a lovely day. Once again, this is the voice of Comrade Pascal Anyang. Thanks and bye for now.